All right, Joe, here we are, sound checking at my favorite place to play lately, Junkyard Dogs. One of my favorite places. Yeah, I like playing here too. So, uh, what, what do you, what, let me ask you what just happened in a casual way. Well, yeah, but I want you to set it up, like actually ask me what just happened. Hey, Joe, here we are at uh, Junkyard Dogs. Just, what just, uh, what just happened there? Zach, Zach told me I play bass like a girl, and I don't even know what that means. It sounds like it's between you and him, man. It's really kind of in my head now. Like a metal girl or like a... I don't know. Like I don't know girl. what he meant. He just said, hey, you kind of play bass like a girl. I don't know, man. Uh, in this day and age, I, I shouldn't be joking like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it means. Here we are backstage, Junkyard Dogs. We're about to get going. That's about all I got for you. Ins insert funny, witty joke.
out the song is changed. She looked on all pictures in the rain. for letting us hang out with you tonight. We call ourselves P.L. Garner and the Reburns. It's a mouthful. But hey, man, we got some stickers up here in the tip jar. If you want a sticker, just come grab one. You don't really
All right, man, here we are at Waffle House after the show. Zach and Abigail came with us here, but uh, me and Joe about to get ready to pay out. Head on home. It's Joe. All right, man, let's pay out and get out of here. What are, you, what are you leaving for a tip? What are you leaving for a tip? Excuse me? Tell me what you're leaving for a tip. Tell you what I'm putting down for a tip? Yeah. I'm going to beat I'm going to double it. I'm going to double it. Dude, I'm not going to tell you what I'm putting down for a tip. It's like asking somebody who they voted for. Are you serious? No. Well, get, get out. No. No, 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 no. No. No, I don't think so. Asshole. So I was doing a bit where I was trying to get Joe Ben to figure out how he left for a tip, but then he left. And he didn't even tell them that they could have it, so now I know that I left a bigger tip than Joe. Cheap bastard. By 20%. Very generous of you. It's really just an extra dollar, but it's still 20%. That's very good of me. Yeah, you're tipping like you're fucking Charles Schwab. Usually I'm... Usually, usually I try to be very humble about my tipping, except when it comes to Joe, then I want to... They should know. Right, you know. I got to confess something to you. What happened? Um, here we are at uh, Waffle House there in the background. Uh, I guess you probably already know that because you were watching the scene before. But you walked out to smoke the cigarette here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he gave you your change back. And I was able to know how much you left for a tip. Dude, I come left, on. I left 20 to 50% more than you did. And, Are you serious? And me and the waiter had a big laugh about it. We called, we called you names and stuff. It was great. I, if, if this were anyone but you, I would doubt what you're saying right now. You could ask Zach. I did it. We counted it. I, I got it on the video. You'll see it. On, well, Joe Ben doesn't watch No Cover, so he'll never see this. I was but just watching No Cover from a few months ago <clears> to catch up. It. But uh, anyway, so well, Joe Ben. Joe Ben left the Waffle House waiter what he thought, and I left him what I thought, and it was a considerably more. Yeah. Well, I don't have uh, I don't have a bad reputation amongst the Waffle House staff, so. I don't, I don't need to leave quite as much. I don't have a bad reputation. I'll leave more of a tip at Waffle House because of the way that my generation acted at Waffle House. Oh, your generation. Okay. Long ago.